just welcoming you back to we are going to do a bleach tie dye so this is what you're going to need you're going to need bleach you're going to need a squeezy bottle to put your bleach in and water or you can use easy washing up liquid bottle you're going to need your gloves um, and you're going to need quite a few elastic bands it is I'm going to do some black leggings yay my black hoodie now I'm going to do the scrunch technique because that's one of the ones that is my favourite at the moment. Hi guys, I'm just jumping in here before we get going to say that if you are under 18, I recommend that you have supervision and guidance from your parents or anybody in charge. Um, it is quite a dangerous um, procedure using the bleach and I want you to be really, really careful. Okay. So the reason why I've chosen black is anything like black, brown, some of the darker colours, dark grey, navy, you know, any of these colours um, just really thrive with the bleach. So, you know, if you use any of those, you should get some really good effects. So I'm happy to use the black and all I'm going to do is just scrunch them up. And next we're going to do the hoodie, so I'm going to start with crinkling, scrunching, crinkling, scrunching um, the sleeve like so, so I'm going to put a tight elastic band in there, over there, okay, and then I'm going to do crinkling all in this main body bit here and yeah just be open to what results happen and I'm gonna do the whole tie dyeing bleaching process in the garden so let's get into it Okay, let's do this. So, I've got my bleach and I'm just going to squirt it on. So I can't emphasise enough that it's really important to do this outside. You can do it inside if it's well ventilated, but particularly if you've got asthma or even mild asthma, the, the bleach tends to get a little bit on your chest and I don't want anybody to have any problems with this. So please do it outside like I was doing and um, protect yourself with the gloves and clothing as well. We don't want any irritation on the skin either. Protect your eyes and just recognise that this is quite a dangerous material to use. So look after yourself when you're doing this process. So this process took much longer than I thought, by the way, because it really dependent on what materials and fabrics you use. So generally, the thicker the fabric, the longer it's going to take to bleach. You then individually put them in the washing machine with a little bit of detergent on a cool wash. The leggings took the quickest. They took about 20 minutes. And then the hoodie, which is really quite thick, took about 40, 45 minutes. And then the final um, job pants that I had took the longest, unusually they were quite thin um, they were more like an hour looking at the fabrics I never went too far away just checking in on them if the bleach doesn't pull um, the color out too quickly you just need to take a little bit of time to wait for them that's all so let's do the big reveal here we go this is a hoodie <laughs> really like the hoodie actually look at the hood yeah 
really happy with it and I'm just wearing it with leggings these are the leggings so wow they just came out brilliantly I really like those they're just gonna be they're gonna be sort of lounging around leggings but yeah they've taken brilliantly so really happy with them and it's sort of the different colors these are the jog pants whitey kind of look but I, I do really like those I'm definitely gonna be wearing those a lot so there's just little bits that are captured so there. I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did and you're new to me then do subscribe and if you liked the video give it a bit of a thumbs up and leave a comment that would be super duper Until next week I will see you on Tuesday bye